June 2016, paper 1 2, question number 4, uh, question 26 from the book. Find the term that is independent of x in the expansion of independent of x means x to the power 0. So to have x to the power 0, what I need to do is I will open my first term that is x minus 2 upon x to the power 6. We need to open this up. And to understand how we open, you need to go through lecture number 2 of binomial expansion. So let's just do this. x to the power 6 multiply 1 upon x to the power 0. This is going to be x to the power 5 multiply by 1 upon x to the power 1. So your first term is 6, your second term should be 4, then your next term should be x squared, and then we will have x to the power 0. Term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4. For term 4, you will be using power 3. So let's just open your x minus 2 upon x to the power 6. For term 4, power will be 3, 63. x, 6 minus 3 is 3 minus 2 upon x to the power 3. 63 is equal to, what is 63? Calculate 6. Then you need to shift, divide to have c and 3. The answer is 20. x cube. And what do we have here is minus 8 upon x cube. So x cube and x cube is cancelled. So the answer for this is minus 160, which is coefficient for x square, which is independent value. For part two, what you need to understand is that there is bracket already given. And for that purpose, if we want to solve this thing down, we'll write down two plus three upon x square. And let's just write down the term value x to the power 6, x to the power 4, x to the square, x 0. And we can always write x to the power or 1 upon x square as well. We can write down 1 upon x to the power 4. Now, why did I write this? Because since we need to have coefficient of what? Independent to x, value of independent to x. So if we multiply this 2, we should be multiplying this with x to the power 0, which is already term 4. And term 4 answer is what? Minus 160. But if we multiply the other value, that is 3 upon x square, then 3 upon x square should be multiplied with x square to have what? To have my, my independent of x value. So that means, that clearly means that you will require term 4 and you will also require term 3 answer too. So term 4 answer we already knew was 160 x to the power 0 and term 3 answer. For term 3 answer, we will be taking down power as square. So power as square will be 6 t 2 x to the power 4, whereas minus 2 upon x to the power 2, this will be. So if we just solve this thing down, 62 is always what? 62, 6, shift, divide, 2. The answer is always 15, x to the power 4, multiply by 4 upon x square. So this is cancelled, your left is square. And this should be 60x square as in value. So that means your third term is 60x square positive. So these are the two terms that will be multiplied with 2 minus 3 upon x square to have what? Independent of x. So if we multiply 2 with minus 60x square, so this should be minus 320. This should be minus 320x to the power 0. Whereas 3 multiplied by 60 will be minus 180 x to the power 0. So the end result is minus 480 x to the power 0, which is independent to the x. So minus 480 1. Your coefficient is minus 480 for what? 
पार्ट टू देर इज अ लिटिल करेक्शन दैट द क्वेश्चन वॉज प्लस थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री अपॉन एक्स स्क्वायर सो इफ यू जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई दिस थ्री अपॉन एक्स स्क्वायर विथ सिक्सटी सो दैट मीन्स यूल गेट प्लस वन एटी तो प्लस वन एटी योर आंसर विल बी माइनस वन फोर्टी एक्स टू द पावर जीरो विच विल बी माइनस फोर्टी टू वन माइनस फोर्टी विल बी द आंसर फॉर पार्ट टू दैट इज टेस्टेड इन जून टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन पेपर वन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी सिक्स फ्रॉम द बुक्स 